I'm really happy we're shooting from Orchestra Hall today. The work we're doing here is still on a smaller scale, but we've still been able to uh, do some work on the ceiling, do some work on some tricky areas with their gold work and um, some of their faux finish work. Actually, essentially, this whole one whole side of the building was suffering from water damage um, in the interior. And they gave us a job on the ceiling recently, and we built a 30-foot scaffold and got up there, and it looks beautiful. So first, it's figure, figuring out the logistics of scaffolding and lighting. One of the things I found out is that there was horse hair in the plaster, which contributes to how wonderful the acoustics are here at Orchestra Hall. So we started with that. We started with the repairs, we brought down all the chips, did some color matching work, created stencils, and um, put it back together and now you can't even tell, which means we did a good job. <laughs> so we're really happy about that. The most unusual job I ever faced has to be the accidental mummies of Guadalajara. I worked on that at the Detroit Science Center exhibit shop. They brought 35 actual mummies from Guadalajara, Mexico. My biggest challenge was to create a Mexican cemetery. In a Mexican cemetery, um, they have blocks or cubes and they're all stacked up in long rows so you might see a wall with 200 cubes and they're all different. They're all decorated by their families. And the only way to really accomplish that job and make it believable was to somehow connect with the people's names that I was painting or looking at. And, and, one, and one girl that was working with me couldn't do it and I really needed her help and I had to put her in front of one of them and say, this was your grandma. She used to take care of you every weekend. She had roses in her garden, now decorate it. She still couldn't do it, but that was an incredible, incredible exhibit. And I got to travel around the country uh, installing that exhibit in a few different states. The most challenging job I was faced with has to be, hands down, the Fox elevators. Uh, that's in their main lobby. Highly decorative elevators on metal. Uh, made in the 1920s, they were thrashed. They'd been smashed into by everything, holes drilled into them, names carved into them. So there was pop, syrup, and all matter of things all glommed onto them. And the first time I saw those elevators, I remember thinking, I hope I don't have to paint those because they looked so tough. And when he asked me if I could do it, I said what I always say, yes. <laughs> then I started figuring it out and it took me about six months of research. And, and we still weren't ready for the challenges because no one expected for the, fa the failure of adhesion for today's automotive paints to the metals of the 1920s, which was before they had all the different alloys that they have now. And, it was, we had to start over three times. But in the end, um, I just kept pushing and challenging and asking questions until we finally found a solution and it really paid off. They look great. I love those, I love them. I have an all-female crew and I find that they're highly organized, very efficient, very timely. Um, very polite with clients, and we have a lot of fun. It is so exciting for me to be involved in the restoration projects at these beautiful historic Detroit landmarks and returning them to their original glory. I love this work. 